In this video, I'll show you how you can lock the content of your bot behind a PIN or a password. Let's say that you wanted to store the content of your bot behind a password or a PIN. In the very first node of our bot's workflow, I'm going to place a capture card. In this example, I'll be using a numerical PIN, so I'll use the number capture card, but the same will work for any text-based input. In this capture card, I'm going to ask my user what is the PIN, and I'll store their answer in a variable that I'll call PIN. Now, what we want to happen is, if they've answered the correct number, then they go down into the bot's workflow. But if they've answered an incorrect PIN, then they get sent to the end of the conversation. So now, we have to account for both of these cases. To do this, we'll use flow logic cards. First, I'll take an expression card and I'll drag it into my node. Remember, expression cards allow you to define the conditions for a transition. Typically, we might do this through code, but BotPress makes your life even easier. In the label field, I'm just going to write, in natural language, what I want to have happen. So I'll say, if the variable pin is equal to 1234, the value of my pin, hit enter, and the code is generated for me automatically. Now, let me do the same thing, but for any case where the value of this variable is not equal to my pin. So I'll say, if the variable pin is not equal to 1234, hit enter, and the condition is automatically generated. Very cool. So now, whenever a user inputs the correct pin, they'll get sent down this path. And if they input an incorrect pin, they'll get sent down this one. I'm just going to add some simple send message cards to verify for my user that they got sent down the correct place. So here, I'll say correct, and down here, I will say incorrect. Now, when we test out our bot, we'll be able to see that it's working properly. So over here in the emulator, I'm going to start a new conversation. I'll say hi, get prompted for the pin, input 1234, and get sent down to the correct place. Let me try that again, but I'll put in the incorrect pin this time. So if I put in 1235, we see I get sent down the incorrect path. Pretty cool. Happy bot building.